What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So this right here is the 13 inch M2 MacBook Air. And I wanna talk about the rumored 15 inch MacBook Air. Now there's been a handful of rumors over the last year that have been saying Apple is planning on releasing a new 15 inch MacBook Air. So let's dive right in, talk about that, and answer the question, should you wait for the 15 inch MacBook Air and who is it for? So without further delay, let's dive right in. All right, so 15 inch MacBook Air. Over the last year, we've heard a lot about it. This is a 13 inch. Apple used to offer uh, two variations, two sizes of the MacBook Air, but now they currently offer one. Uh, but reliable analyst Ross Young says that the new 15 inch MacBook Air will begin panel production in the first quarter of 2023, which suggests that it could launch sometime in the spring. The first quarter is January, February, and March. Now, Ross Young, as well as Bloomberg, have previously reported on the possibility of a 15 inch MacBook Air. And Bloomberg, they actually previously pointed to a potential launch during the spring of 2023, which means we're really close, especially at the time of this recording. However, Young's latest report that the panel production, which is expected to begin in Q1 of 2023, it does line up with what Bloomberg said of uh, being released in the spring of 2023. And Young's report, it also indicates that the new MacBook Air will feature a 15.5 inch display size. So this means that Apple would now finally have to display sizes again. So this is a 13 inch and then we have the 15 inch, um, not 15.5 inch for the rumored one and 13.6, 13.7 for this M2 MacBook Air that I have right here. Apple, like I said, it used to offer different sizes. They scrapped it up, the 11 inch and 13 inch, they scrapped that up and now we just have the 13 inch. But I will be super happy if they bring back a larger size. Now. Alongside that 15 inch rumored MacBook Air, we're also hearing about just a 12 inch MacBook, um, but we don't know where we're gonna get it. Some are saying the end of 23 or early 2024. Okay, so the question is, should you wait for the 15 inch MacBook Air? Well, I have the 13 inch right here and I've had it since its release in July. This is the base model with eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. And let me tell you, uh, it gets the job done for me. Uh, the, my workload isn't too heavy. Three to four streams of 1080p. Yes, I am working with a lot of tech, uh, but surprisingly it hasn't struggled at all. And it's been great. Battery life has also been amazing. I love taking the M2 MacBook Air, taking it to a coffee shop like Starbucks or whatever, sitting down, editing a video, uploading the video and still having like 80% battery life. Uh, with my previous uh, Intel MacBook Pro 2017 version, I literally could not take that out of the charger. Like it would drop from like 100 to like 75, 74. It would just drop to some random number like all of a sudden. Uh, so it's great to see the battery life on the M2 MacBook Air really good. I just really missed it over the years and I finally have a, a laptop that performs, a machine that performs really well in terms of battery life. So in that case, it's great. The M2 chip is also great. I'm not looking for the M1 Pro or the M1 Max or even the M1 Ultra. I mean, if I had those, I would change my workflow and use it accordingly, but I don't, so I don't really need it. However, when I am on the go, this is the 13 inch MacBook Air. So I kind of wish I did have a larger screen when I am on the go. Obviously, when I do get home, I plug it into my Samsung M8 monitor and I use that large 32 inch monitor to get my work done to edit videos. But when I'm on the go and I do use this on the go, like when I do have to edit sometimes and I do actually, I use it for uh, the fall semester. I initially picked up the M2 MacBook Air just for uh, editing videos, just for the YouTube channel, but I ended up using it for school. I wanted to try it out and see is the M2 MacBook Air will it last during school as a college student. And at the time of this recording, I actually just finished up my winter semester. So I'm really, or my fall semester. So I'm really happy for that. I just have the spring semester and hopefully I will be done. Now, M2 chip, 
this right here, M2 chip in the MacBook Air is powerful. If you're a student who is looking for a larger MacBook Air, then the upcoming 15 inch is probably gonna be the device for you. Uh, but for most students, I think this 13 inch is perfectly fine. Uh, for me, it was great. If you're a user that has a heavy workload and intense applications, obviously you probably wouldn't go for M2, you'd probably go for something uh, like the M1 Pro or the M1 Max or even the Mac Studio if you have a home setup. Obviously we don't know any of the other like specs or what's it going to include, but given the name MacBook Air, I believe it's just going to be literally this, what we're seeing on screen, the M2 MacBook Air in just a larger scale. Uh, very uh, familiar to the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Probably the same amount of ports uh, right here on the left. There's probably not gonna be a um, SD card slot, which is okay. I think that can stay reserved for the pros. I mean, I do wish this had it, but it's okay if it doesn't. And oh, by the way, Ghost Energy, you gotta check them out. They got some real, like this is the only uh, energy drink that I consume. I don't consume anything else but Ghost. Um, so definitely check them out. And Ghost, if you ever come across this video, I'd love to work with you one day. Anyway, that's that's it. You know, if M2 MacBook Air 13 inch suffices your needs, then this is it. But if you're looking for a larger size without breaking the bank, without needing the extra power, I would say wait just a couple more months to see if the 15 inch uh, MacBook Air is released. And Ross Young, he has a very good track record when it comes to displays. Uh, he's always been point on with those types of things. So he, if he's saying that there's panel production coming in Q1 of 2023, Bloomberg is also stating that the 15 inch is going to be released in Q1 of 2023 or more so in the spring of 2023. I think it's looking like we're going to be getting a 15 inch, a larger size. Essentially the larger size is just for those who need a larger size uh, with a slim, powerful MacBook, but not breaking the bank or not being a huge power horse machine, then 15 inch is going to be for you. But if you have this 13 inch MacBook Air M2, let me know about your thoughts and your opinions, uh, your workflow, your experience on it. I'd love to hear it. I'm working on my sixth month, my sixth, my sixth, my six month review. Yes, I'm working on my six month review on the M2 MacBook Air that's hopefully going to be coming out sometime in January. Spoiler, I love this machine. Absolutely happy I went with the base model. I am super happy I went with the base model. I, in my experience, I don't need 16 gigs of RAM. I don't need any extra storage anyway, so I'm all set. Now, you might ask the question, am I going to pick up the 15 inch? M2, or at this point, I don't know if it's M2, but I'm going to pick up the 15 inch MacBook Air. And like quick answer is going to be, yes, I want to, but will I? Uh, maybe not initially, but later on, uh, because I personally would love to have a larger display on the go. And that would be my first large uh, MacBook, just in general. My previous MacBook Pro was a 13 inch. But that really wraps up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're excited for 15 inch MacBook Air, let me know in the description or in the comments down below. Uh, but if you did enjoy, uh, be sure to zoom in the like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot and will help push my content out to more people. That's been it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.